Hello, fellow drinkers at the Jolly Heretic, resident poet here, and a hello again to those of us joining from History Debunked. Now, I hope all of you, or perhaps even some of you, caught last night's stream on the subject of embryo selection. We learn here of IQ selection, a topic that repays reflection. Done in the right way, in Byzantium, say, we might reach a state of perfection. So overall, a very entertaining stream last night, although last night's proceedings were marred slightly by some folks' constant carping, really audio quality, and as a result, Ed had to give them a stern talking to. It issued some needed timeouts on those who were acting like louts. Heretic drinkers are surely not stinkers, but nowadays I'm having some doubts. And Ed also told us a bit about the conference he attended in Estonia at the weekend, and I think he enjoyed himself, although his shaving may have suffered as a result. Ed's focus, it's quite like a laser. At events, he speaks in a blazer. At the one in Tallinn, he drank too much gin and struggled a bit with his razor. So that was a little roundup of yesterday's stream. Now, I must turn to history. <coughs> debunked and uh, the work of Simon Webb and in one recent video Simon detailed how immigrants are turning the back gardens of green and pleasant England into shanty towns unfortunately. The fate of the great British garden causes good nature to harden. Instead of ripe plums they're becoming slums and no one is demanding pardon. And then shortly afterwards, uh, Simon produced a video on the Labour Party's recent plans to extend voting rights to EU citizens as well as 16 year olds. The issue this week is the vote, a move that Keir Starmer does float. Extending the franchise to those still in school ties causes lefties to loudly emote. And then not long afterwards, Simon told us about the latest plans to have Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream classed as offensive as a dwarf is made fun of in some scenes. The latest news concerns the Bard. This time it's not the race card. It's those who are short that lefties exhort to throw his place in the junkyard. So hopefully you enjoy my little roundup of history debunked. And now it's time for today's funny story. So there was this lawyer and he was driving along in his expensive car along the road. And all of a sudden, he sees a man at the roadside eating grass from the verge. So his curiosity gets the better of him and he stops his car, winds down the window and says to the man, what are you eating grass for? The man replies, I'm desperate. I've absolutely no money. My family and I haven't eaten for a couple of days and I have to eat grass to survive. And the lawyer says, that's terrible. In a rich country like this, we have people starving. I tell you what I'll do. You and your family can have dinner at my house tonight. Let's go to yours now and we can pick them up on the way. So the guy is delighted. He gets into the car and says, but won't your family mind having me, my wife and kids turn up unannounced? And the lawyer says, don't worry, you'll be saving them a job. They haven't mown the lawn for weeks. So that was today's funny story. So that was just a roundup from me today of the Jolly Heretics output and that of History Debunked. If you did enjoy it, please do like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching and hopefully we'll see each other very soon. Goodbye.